what you got here. Got this in the mail yesterday. It's a Olin's FTK 107 on the monkey. So there's two different weight springs uh, on this. Right. Two different weights, so that's what they come with. They come with uh, two different weights. It's one weight is for, uh, one, one side of the spring is for, uh, I believe it's above 175 pounds, 176 pounds. The other one is below that. So. It is springs. It's a little whatever little uh, parts there. So that's one set of springs, and here's the other set of springs. Stickers. Other set of springs here, and the. A little rod inside, a dampening rod inside here. Right. A little rod inside. So this is a dampening rod. It's not a. Uh, it's not a cartridge. Like a cartridge fork, like a. Uh, or at least I believe it's a dampening rod, not a cartridge. Like a. Um, Like on a higher end fork, here's the caps. Um, little bolt right there. So, that's a that's the uh, the valve stack right here. Oil flow. The manual will pass. More stickers. So I'm, this is all in Thai. That's in Thai because I think these things are from. Yeah, made by yeah, right here it says made by Olin's Asia. Uh, so, so Thailand. So uh, it's not, you know, it's not Olin's out of Sweden. I mean, it's still it's Olin's, but you know, it's the Th Thailand division. Unlike my my Olin's for my XSR, that's you know that's actually made in Sweden. Well, why am I looking at the tire? <laughs> Tight manual. <laughs> so one side is a um, so out this thing. One side is a um, I'm not sure which one's which side's which. One is a O3, one's a O5. I think that's a difference in the number. Uh, no, that's a spring number. One side, looking at the manual here, one, one rod, one dampening rod is, is the compression and the other dampening rod is the rebound. Um, and then the, the two springs, the five, five newton meters, uh, excuse me, newton millimeters and six newton millimeters. And you'll probably do like a combination of, of two. two uh, you know, one firmer one and one softer one. If you want to, you know, fine tune it a little bit, a little bit more. Um, let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So here's the uh, where the valve stack is. That's where the you know, one's the compression, one's rebound. You can see a little bit of a difference between the two. Uh, mainly. Yeah, how, how it's stacked. 
where the spring is. One of the springs on one side, and the other one the spring is on the other side, right? Because the flow of oil is one direction or the other direction, right? For it to uh, dampen the, uh, you know, control the oil flow. And over here, again, the five newton millimeter below 80 kilograms and above 80 kilograms. And again, maybe if you're somewhere right at, at around 80, you might want to do like a combination of the two. So if you're, you know, tighter weight, you know, go with the five, both five, and if you're heavier, go with both six. And if you're, if you're uh, somewhere pretty close to 80, you could probably use both, both uh, you know, one of each. It might feel better that way. But you know, but you don't you don't know until you try. So, so that's the thing you you never know until you try. Um, that's about it. I think the other thing that you need to know is uh, the, the proper oil. So that's the oil that you want. Yeah. The Olin's zero one three zero nine dash O one. So that's the oil right there that you you want to have. Doesn't use that much oil because the monkey pork legs are pretty small. So 230 milliliters of oil. That's um, that's not even a, a quarter of the of the of a liter. So both legs would use less than um, both legs would use. Actually, no, that, that that is a quarter. That's a little bit over a quarter. So both both legs would use just over a half a liter of uh, of oil. Oil level force. They don't tell you oil level in here. They just tell you the uh, the amount. I usually like to use the level just because sometimes the amount is slightly off, depending on if you have residual oil in there or not. You know, if it's completely bone bone dry when it's new, or or if, if you're just replacing oil with just a little bit of oil left, so that would throw the oil level off by just a tiny bit, by a few millimeters. I prefer a, uh, a actual oil level uh, number, but well, that's fine. It's close enough. Yeah, it's close enough for this. Um, let's look at the two dampeners again. You, and you can see it. You can see it in there. See one. The spring is up over here, and the one the spring is down this way. So that's where the flow, the the direction of flow, right? So I think the spring on this side is pushing the valve this direction. So the oil is gonna flow this way, pushing against this, against that little spring. And this one, the, the flow is going in this direction, so pushing the, against that little spring right there. And there's no really, uh, there's no real way of adjusting this thing. It doesn't, you know, not, it doesn't say anything about adjusting, adjusting, uh, adjusting it. You know, because this is a dampening rod and not a, uh, not a, cart not a cartridge. If it's a cartridge, you you could actually adjust it uh, differently. You know, usually on the cartridge, you could adjust it from the from the top up here, but this one obviously you can't. And I guess this is probably the preload. Um, you know, it connects to probably uh, something here or something. That's probably the preload, I'm guessing. Um, um, let's see what else on this thing. Pretty simple, simple and easy, uh, easy thing. Not much to it. Let's see if it has any. Um, if it has anything on uh, preload. anything about preload anyways when I put it together I'll make a video and uh, I'll figure it out all right so that's my forks I haven't even obviously I haven't even got my bike yet hopefully it comes in uh, soon uh, I think the dealership called me and said it's, it's on its way it's probably not gonna get here until um, early next week so until then